This is literally the exact same length as this section here. <laughs> it's just not stretched out. Hey guys, it's Juliana Palencia, also known as Jujubee. <laughs> and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my kind of like an updated hair routine and also my tips on how I diffuse my hair like a pro. So the way that I diffuse my hair, I like to diffuse it so it has this really rounded shape. It looks like my hair is like super layered and really long layers at the bottom. So I'm gonna share with you the products that I'm using to style my hair and also exactly how I diffuse my hair to give it tons of definition but to still get it really really stretched out and this is a very very detailed video I like to make my videos really quick and to the point but this has so many gems in it and so many details in it that I feel like are going to be really helpful so I'm going to get into this video I hope you guys enjoy it and if you do then please give it a thumbs up and let's get into it so for you guys who are interested in what I'm using in my hair for this tutorial, then you can keep watching. However, if you just like to see how I diffuse, blow dry my hair, then you can skip to right here. This is a timestamp for just the diffusing tutorial. I'm gonna section off my hair. I'm gonna be using this Jane Carter Incredible Curls Cream, and I don't think I really have in much of anything left. I've been using this as like my hydrator i use a thinner hydrator first that's more liquidy um and then i use a creamy thicker product to trap that moisture in. i realize when i do that my hair turns out so much better and also so much more moisturized so right now i'm going to be taking my dimming brush and if you guys follow me you know that i've been super into my tangle teaser for like the past two years however i decided i wanted to switch it up and try out the Denman since this is like the OG. I started using this when I first went natural. So I decided to try it again and I really liked it. I was like, why did I stop using it? Just gonna comb this product through my hair because finger detangling really helps to detangle my hair, but it doesn't really get the frizz at the roots like the Denman brush can. So now I'm gonna be using one of my favorite product combos ever. I pretty much keep these on stock like all the time. It's probably one of the first natural hair products I bought and it always does amazing. So because I used the Denman brush already, it makes it really easy to smooth this product through my hair. And then the last product I'm going to be using is the Shea Moisture Curling Gel Souffle from the same line. I don't know what's up with this batch, but as you guys can see, oh no, it is like coming out whole, oh like no. globs of it. And last time I tried to use it, um, it was not blending into my hair. So I'm going to go blend it or warm it up or something, then I'll be back. <laughs> So here is how the consistency is now. As you can see, it's much more gel-like. I warmed it up in the microwave for 20 minutes and then also stirred it and like broke it apart. I'm glad that I've already used this product before because if this was my first time using it, I definitely like, and it came out like this. No. So I'm gonna just smooth this all over my hair and I'm not gonna use too much of this. You guys know that I love to use a ton, like a ridiculous amount of product, but with this one, you use too much, it's gonna feel like you have honey on your hair. It can get really, really sticky. So just do not use too much of this. And then I'm just gonna move on to the next section. Um, that's all I'm using today. I'm not using like a ton of products like I normally do. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna do the other half and then we're gonna move on to diffusing. I'm all done applying the products to my hair and now it's on to diffusing. Now to diffuse my hair, I'm using a, something that's a little bit pricey. I'm using the Dyson Supersonic. So I'm just gonna be holding this around my hair for the portion of time. So I've diffused my hair for about 15 minutes and my hair is around 50% dry. So now I'm gonna move on to the next step, which is stretching my hair. 
Okay, so I'm now done this section and you can see this section right here is not stretched out. This is literally the exact same length as this section here. <laughs> it's just not stretched out. Okay, so I'm just gonna stretch out this section and then I'll be back. So to stretch out my hair, I'm doing a version of the tension method and pretty much what I do is I take a section of hair and I use tension to help stretch it out. I like to leave my ends still unstretched. So as you can see, I'm not going all the way down to the ends because as you'll see later, that keeps my hair looking super defined but stretched out at the roots. So you can see already, it's been like two minutes. It's already so much more stretched out than it was before <laughs> so i recorded a video of this same method in 2015 except then i was using it to get huge hair actually the video title was how to get huge hair <laughs> now i use it to stretch out my hair and also by stretching out my hair when i'm drying it it helps to cut down on single strand knots and tangles like crazy because I'm drying my hair in an organized way instead of allowing my hair to dry how it wants which is tangled together <laughs> okay so I'm all done the hair that I'm going to stretch out and as you can see it is so much longer than it would be it'd probably be like up here if I didn't stretch it out now that I'm done that I'm just going to pick out my hair and I'm just using this random pick I got from the beauty supply store it has a fist like this on it I do have a ton of products in my hair so it's probably not going to get as stretched out as it will on like day three or four or five but we still want a little bit of volume for this video so the front portion of my hair I'm going to style that totally different than the back. I'm going to add a bit of eco styler to the front of my hair because the front of my hair is just so naturally prone to getting frizzy. I know if I don't do that, it's just going to frizz right up. So now for this last front portion of my hair, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrunch it up towards the roots um just to give it a bit more shape because as you can see if it dries like exactly like this the front of my hair will be the exact same length as like the back of my hair so i'm going to scrunch up the front a bit so that it's not as long so it's like i do the exact opposite for the back of my hair as i do the front <laughs> Okay guys, so here is the finished result and I am absolutely so happy with how my hair turned out. My hair is literally so hydrated right now, but also I have volume but tons of definition as well. So I have no frizz in my hair, which is exactly how I like it. So when I diffuse my hair like this, I can create the shape that I want, so I have a very rounded shape instead of having to cut super duper short layers into my hair i can just diffuse it to make it look like this like it has like extremely short layers here i could even clip it like this if i wanted a curly bang too the diffusing portion i'm not gonna lie it takes a while it took about an hour to do but the results really pay off and my hair is stretched out it will probably take 10 minutes to detangle my hair next time I wash it because my curls didn't get to tangle together and they were dry stretched out and separated so I will have very minimal tangles also this cuts down on fairy knots because my hair doesn't get a chance to wrap around itself because it is dried more stretched out and or in an organized way if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching and I really hope you guys have a great day